Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising weekly tarot re reading August 19th to August 25th, uh, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it. I think that that's good enough. And uh, the first card which stands for the topic of your week is going to be the Six of Swords, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the week. That is going to be the Sun card. Afterwards, we do have the Ten of Pentacles, which stands for the positive aspect of the week. And then the last one for you guys, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. This is to be the Two of Wands. All right, so... Um, well, that, that kind of looks like a, a week with a, a good opportunity coming in your way, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. Now, uh, according to these cards, the problem for you is going to be that um, you may think that this um, this opportunity, I would say, it's, it's not as good as it seems, all right? So it's like <clears throat> having a... Um, Having a, a, a an endeavor in front of you that can make you either lucrative or it can make you either happy, <clears throat> you know, but in the same time you think that it's or you have that impression, right, that it it's not worth the hassle. <clears throat> and we're going to go into it in a minute, but beforehand, let's run down the cards one more time. So we do have the Six of Swords, which stands for the topic, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges here of the Sun card. The third one is going to be the positive aspect for you guys, which is the Ten of Pentacles. And the last one, it is the Two of Wands, which represents as a which represents the guide the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. So <clears throat> The Six of Swords. Six of Swords in the grand scheme of things, you know, as a very general interpretation of the card, it does represent the threshold that one needs to traverse in order to uh, provoke newness into one's life. Now, uh, it's important here to know that Six of Swords is always or almost always accompanied with certain sense of fear. That is due to the fact that whatever newness one is to provoke into their life is rather unknown. And just to give you an example of that, you know, so let's say you see you're single and you have someone around you that's um, kind of you like each other, all right? But it is just to a stage of liking. There is nothing like love, you know, or this kind of stuff. It is just like chemistry that it is in between you two. And while you want to spend more time with them, while probably you want to be in a relationship with that person, in the same time, something within yourself is kind of holding you back, telling you that, Maybe this isn't the right one, all right? Or maybe there is no potential in this one, and etc., etc. So you will have those kind of doubts that um, that the endeavor in front of you it's it's either lucrative or it's either happy, you know. And the fear itself that accompanies this this doubt is fear of the unknown that you actually are gonna risk a lot and you may not gain anything from it. 
but with the six of swords usually uh, this risk is fallacy it's something imaginary in reality there is nothing for you to be afraid of now the accompanied card here is going to be the magician the formation it is a active supporters that we do have and uh, <clears throat> First of all, with these two cards, we're seeing that it will take a, uh, I, I don't want to say tremendous effort, but a, I would say a big effort from your behalf in order to traverse the threshold. It is probably because if we are following the example here of two people liking each other, the other, the other side are going to go just so far, all right? And the rest of the distance in between you two has to be traversed by you. And that will kind of like make you think that, you know, probably isn't worth it. But with the magician, it's important here that as soon as you see an opportunity to do something new in your life throughout the week, you know, date with new person, for example, take participation into a new project or uh, search for a, a new job and etc. etc. You know, you need to support those actions with, with a, a determination and also you need to exert on your personal sovereignty in a sense of that, uh, you know, if you are to have something in your life, like a good job, you know, or like a lucrative project or like a new person should be based on your, um, on yourself. I don't know how to describe it, you know, in a sense of that, uh, the results of it should be results of your personal efforts rather than results of a cumulative efforts, like someone helping you to get there. All right. Just to give you an example of that, if you are to find a new job, that new job should be found because, you know, you have the skill to do it instead of because your father is a friend of the owner of the company and they assign you there with you having no skill whatsoever, but just because you do have the connections to do it, all right? And lastly here, should you yet experience a lot of uh, tantrum in a sense of taking on this opportunity, you do have an, an option to research it with these two cards, all right? If you have some doubts into something or you you kind of like see a uh, situation in this endeavor a bit fake, ask about it. I mean, place your um, <clears throat> communicational skills into the matter and now we go to the challenging card here which is the sun card and the challenge itself is going to be for you to see the real growth the real potential of growth that this endeavor has okay and um on and additionally to that you may not feel that you do have the energy to pursue this uh, this goal or this endeavor itself and on top of that, it will seem like it's a natural thing for you. So it's not something that you are used to do. OK, so if it is about you and someone and, and some guy or a girl, you know, are falling for each other, you like each other. That person is going to be some uh, a, a type of person that you haven't dated up until this point. All right. So let's say you do like a heavy metal. OK, and up until this point, your girlfriend or your boyfriends were only people that are um, I don't know how how you say it guys into a um, uh, uh, in America you know in, or other part, parts of the world but we do say to these people who are you know dressing like I don't know credible field or these kind of um, uh, metal band we tell them metals all right so up until this point, your girlfriend or boyfriends were, you know, one of these people. Well, now your your person of interest is actually a, a guy or a girl, which is a business lady or a business uh, per, or a businessman. You know, have nothing to do with metal at all, and yet you are liking each other. So it it seems completely unnatural to you, and that will be furthermore a an obstacle for you to overcome in order to take on this endeavor. Now, the accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Wands <clears throat> formation. It is a active supporters. And Nine of Wands um, does refer to the conscious changes that one needs to do in order to take advantage of the opportunity. All right. So being uh, going on with the same with the old ways of yours is not going to allow you to experience the full heights of the situation itself. You need to change something within yourself if you want to have the most pleasant experience from the endeavor, from the project, from the relationship, from the dating and etc, etc. And by all means, you're not obliged to do it. I'm just saying what are the circumstances or what are the conditions so you can have the most of it. 
because you know I'm seeing in the comments you know I'm not gonna change or I'm not gonna pursue well that's your choice okay that's your choice I'm not telling you that you definitely have to do it all right I'm just saying you uh, or telling you according to my cards what are the conditions so you get the upper hand should you do it well that's entirely up to you all right well, the next one is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, which is the positive aspect for you. And the Ten of Pentacles here tells us only one thing, guys, that this, the investment into this endeavor, into this traversing the threshold, into these new shores for you to conquer, it's a, a productive investment. It's a lucrative investment. It's a happy investment, okay? In this specific follow-up. Because in... Um, Ten of Pentacles often represents, you know, um, the gains from one's uh, incorporation into uh, into endeavor or into agenda. And when the Ten of Pentacles falls into a positive position, it does point that one is going to get what they earn or even more than that. OK, so the project that it is opening for you, it will be lucrative according to this card. You know, the person that you may like which is something different than the people that you have liked up until this moment actually is going to prove himself or herself trustworthy very reliable you know and uh, someone who will also allow you to be as well independent which is very important these days and etc etc so do not my point here is that you shouldn't lightly just banish this endeavor it is because it's something that you feel a bit unnatural at the start the accompanied card is going to be the four of wands the formation it is a uh, <clears throat> a passive neutrals so four of wands to ten of pentacles as a passive neutrals it does point that you can stretch the stage of the situation as much as you as much as you want so um <clears throat> following the example that you and someone like each other you know you don't have to jump into a relationship straight straight away you can stretch the hang out, the hanging out stage of forming of the relationship as much as you want so to a point where you feel ready that you are to devote even deeper into it all right so to me it speaks that you hold the steeds and it is <clears throat> excuse me and it is according to your um to your guide if i may say it that way when <clears throat> when this uh, when this endeavor is going to jump into the next level into the next stage and then the last card that we do have is going to be the guidance that you need to uh, that you should follow throughout this uh, throughout this week and we do have the two of wands and two of wands as a sentence to me speaks as such you know you have good achievements behind your back you do have a good foundation that you are sitting on but your personality, your skills, your knowledge needs to be improved. And how one can do so? Well, when one glances upon new horizons, just like the man is doing here, all right? You have already, according to this card at least, you have already conquered certain portion of your goals up until this moment. And that leaves an empty space for new goals. And now it's time for you to look around and set a new goals for yourself. That is the guidance. And luckily for you, Leo, that new goal, it is just behind the corner. It is there opening or kind of like revealing itself to you in this week, August 19th to August 25th. The accompanied card here is going to be the nine of so the seven of swords, excuse me. So formation, it is a active friends that we do have, and uh, uh, doing so, you need to also kind of like a um, cling or uh, clinch on your um, personal rights, or rather like stand for your personal rights, I would say, and also be um, well, be true to. Uh, how can I place it? Be true to your yearnings, okay? And yearnings in a sense of the grand scheme of things, like yearnings to be happy, yearnings to be lucrative, all right? It's because yearning to be happy, it's one thing, yearning to be with a specific person. Now, this in my book is stubbornness, all right? Because you can be happy with not just only one person, someone else could make you happy as well, okay? And as a matter of fact, with these two cards, if something doesn't want to make you happy or lucrative, now it's time for you to abandon it, just like the person here does with the war camp. 
because the f identifies this person identifies that the camp here is leading a war or is uh, raising a war that it is not a, a war of the person described in the seven of swords so you got to follow your own agenda and if no one and if someone doesn't want to follow your agenda well then you have to cut them short it's as simple as that so that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading for August uh, 19 to August 20, uh, 25th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.